What is up everybody, my name is Jack Wynn, we have now gotten onto the boat. My husband is a big child. So, we're now back, we're back in Seattle. Stay for lunch. It's all in Seattle. We're going to the Shark Seattle game later today. Uh, right now we're on our way off the ship on the gangway and we'll go into our hotel drop off the bags it's a bit cold I'm wearing my new hoodie got my hoodie up I got iron brew so I will try and stay warm although this is really helping uh, but Seattle is we're gonna have a whole lot of time today so you guys are going to come with me on that one and we're just going to explore as much as we can all righty we are in seattle now we're actually in the heart of seattle kind of in our hotel room just got checked in our room is ready beds are nice it's comfy and we're on the 33rd floor but we have somewhat of a view of Seattle here and it's nice it's very nice and I like it alrighty so we're now walking down <coughs> Pike's place now there's bubbles everywhere where are the bubbles going from never mind I found where the bubbles are coming from <laughs> oh yeah we are on our way to the original Starbucks. It's right here, isn't it? Ah, that's the line for it. I found it. Not that busy. My ass. So it said on the app. Well, we just passed it, and it was busy. I mean, we're still. Holy crap! I mean, the line. Is long. So that's great. So we're gonna find something to eat and then maybe go and get coffee later. We're at the Beechers to get some food and they're making their world famous flagship cheese curds. Yeah, that's my comfortable stuff. And then I got. Does it move? No, it does not move. This is a drink that I got here, so. And then we've got mac and cheese. Open up the mac and cheese. Man. Let's open up the mac and cheese. It's warm, very warm. Water. You ready? Yeah. Open it. Ha ha ha! That looks good. And now. We have the bretzel. And and now we have our grilled cheese. Ooh, cool, 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 cool. That looks good. Hey. That looks good. Starbucks and we have a Starbucks right. drink. Yeah. One thing about Seattle, steep hills. <laughs> Just something in the middle of the of the city. Just a tree. A singular tree. I'm sure. Alrighty, so we made a quick stop to the hotel, dropped some stuff off from the original Starbucks here in Washington. Couldn't film anything because it's against, it's against the law, apparently, I guess. Well, against that's the what they told you. I think it's against the law. They just don't want to film it. Probably. It's a possibility. Uh, and now we're going back to Pike's Place to the gum wall, and then we're going to get ready. We're going to come back. Or no, first, then we're going to go to Target, try and find a portable charger because we forgot to bring one. When we left the house on the way to the on the way to the airport, and then 
We're also going to try to find some Seattle Kraken stuff because I want, like, something Seattle related. Um, and then head back to the hotel, create a sign for a hockey for the hockey game later today, then go to the hockey game and get ready for that. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, we were going to do that, weren't we? Oh, well. I'll find something on the way to the game. Probably there'll be like a uh, CVS, CVS or, or something. Or something yeah. on the way. We are back in the hotel room where we had to buy another suitcase because we have a lot of stuff from the cruise, Canada. Bought a bunch of stuff in Canada. I don't have anything from the cruise. It's just Canada. It, true. We've got a bunch of stuff that we bought from Canada. Souvenirs. As well as stuff that we bought from the British store, and it can't really fit. We were struggling to get it to fit in our two backpacks and the suitcase that we have, so we bought a larger suitcase. Yeah. Now it's time for us to get ready for the Sharks game later today over by at uh, Amazon's Climate Pledge Arena. So the Sharks cracking. I've been tasked with making a sign, uh, and that's going to be. In another video um, and then tomorrow we're gonna hit the famous gum wall over by Pike's place hit Beecher's again get some mac and cheese because mac and cheese was really good it was really good I just get a whole thing of mac and cheese for myself really like the the bretzel was good the grilled cheese was kind of eh, but the mac and cheese was, was really good and that's one place that, like, if you come to Seattle... They're not too far off. One's more blue than the other. Yeah. There's, like, a slight difference. Not a huge difference, but whatever. Right. But, like, if any of you guys come down to Seattle, go to Pike's Place and get Beecher's... Or, is it Beaches or Beecher's? Beecher's. It's Beecher's. Get Beecher's Mac and Cheese, because that is good. And it's it's house made as well. They sit and make their own cheese in the in the shop. Their their flagship cheese is good. What what they say the flagship cheese was? It, it was, was like, like cheddar and Gruyere. Yeah, it was a good, it's a really good combination. And they sit and make it there, and then you can purchase like cheese like cheese curds and a big triangle. Of flagship cheese and bring it home for yourself so that's that's cool but uh we'll be back tomorrow doing stuff but right now it's time for the sharks game there's the space needle let's get closer to it shall we there's the space needle Not very tall, is it? Thought it would be taller, but hey. It's the Space Needle. As, you know, expensive. There's Climate Pledge Arena, well, home just as well of the Seattle Kraken. Like we'll be there. Alrighty, well it is day two in Seattle. Still the same video, because we did Final really... day of vacation. Yep, final day of vacation, final day in Seattle. It's kinda, it's kinda wet. It's a little wet right now. Um, moist. Yeah, just moist. going around Seattle. It is very. I apologize for people moist. at home. You're just trying to like <laughs> yes, irritate. I am. You're just trying to irritate people, aren't you? Yes, I am. Walk, but um, we're heading down to Pike's place again. We're doing the gum wall. Uh, we're getting some food as well from a very bacon in... bitch. It's biscuit. Biscuit bitch. Sorry, bacon bitch. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that. It's a very finish. interestingly named location that we're going to for breakfast. And then we're also going back to Beecher's because I want some mac and cheese. I want to get some mac and cheese. Because that mac and cheese was really good. We're going to go eat all the food today and just pig out and then not eat all of next week. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Because uh, the school lunches are kind of mm, so I don't really, I don't usually eat school lunch anyway, but this just gives me an excuse to not eat school lunch. <laughs> but it's day two. 
we have umbrellas because it's we have a feeling it's going to get even more wet and rainy and cold so we'll see how that goes and then we'll just be back in pike's place all that and then we'll be at the airport and then we'll be flying back to vegas where it's hot and dry another alleyway in seattle <laughs> We just missed the flying fish. Look at the size of those lobster tails. I'd send lobster for you. Probably good. They have an oyster shop. <laughs> There's gum on here, but we are here at the gum wall. I'm going to stick this piece of gum on the gum wall. Right there. Now I feel like I need hand sanitizer now. <laughs> oh, look, someone even made, like, said something with it. I can't even tell. It gets even worse the further you get. It just dangles. It wraps up all the way to here too, good lord. We got our food. We got our, our drinks. Let's see how it is. Alrighty, so we had biscuit bitch. It was okay. It was okay, but now we're in Beechers. I got myself some mac and cheese again. I got myself my mac and cheese. So, pictures. Here, that hurts. We're got, still looking. We got mac. I got the back. I got the 8 ounce. Because I don't think I can eat a whole 16 ounce even though I want it. So, I'm going to go sit and eat this real quick. Alrighty, so after I got the mac and cheese, we walked down Pike's place again. Marked down. And she found a truffle place. Could not get her out. And as I'm in there, I'm still eating my mac and cheese. And they're like, you eating mac and cheese without white truffle oil? I'm like, yeah. So they gave me a sample of white truffle, put it in the mac and cheese. It was okay. It was good. Okay? It was delicious. It was delicious. And then we just got handed sample after sample after sample of like different like truffles. We had uh, truffle salt, truffle honey, truffle mayo. If you're ever in Pike's Place, go to Truffle Queen. Uh, Great people. Yeah, they were, they were really friendly in that. But yeah, we, we spent what? 15 minutes in there? About 15, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice people. Just just talking and trying different samples and just looking at stuff. We actually ended up getting like a little sampler pack of black and white truffle oil and truffle salt. So 
We got at least something out of it. And truffle mail. Didn't we get truffle mail? We did get truffle mail. We did? Okay. Uh, so now we're just going to spend some time walking around for the last little bit and then pick up our bags and head to the airport. So we noticed this while we were eating our breakfast, but just past that sign is the cruise ship that we were on this entire like week. The ovation of the seas. I just thought it was funny how it's just sitting in the middle of the water. Is this Olive Way right here? That's eight. Olive Way is this way. This way is Olive? It's going so that way. So we just grabbed our bags and we're currently walking to the train station. Trying to figure out where to go, actually. And we're going to take the train to get to the airport. There was our hotel, the Hyatt Regency. It was very nice, very comfy beds. It was very, very nice, like, actual hotel room. It, was, it wasn't small, but it wasn't big either. It was a decent size. The bed was really nice. It was, it was really comfy. I slept like a baby. <laughs> Compared to the cruise ship beds, yeah. it was comfy. I was saying that though, the cruise ship beds themselves weren't overly that uncomfortable. Like they were comfy, but not overly comfy. Um, and they also have like a little bar and restaurant in the actual hotel. Okay, this can't see where we're going, like it doesn't keep redirecting yeah it's like all screwed up where is it it's pine street gps doesn't know where we are he has no idea where we are so that should be fun come in come to head home Alrighty, we are now the in train station. the train station to the airport we have Tickets, we have our bags. The train's behind us, but that's going the complete opposite way. We're waiting for the train to come into this side to get us to the airport. It's confusing as all hell in here. We have no, we had no idea where we were going. Gotta love the the rail system. But uh None of the escalators that were going downstairs worked. There's only the ones that were going up. So we had to lug these suitcases, these heavy suitcases, downstairs normally without escalators. And that was fun. That was a pain. It was real fun. Really, really fun. I enjoyed it. Now we're waiting to get a train to go to the airport and wait for a few hours to fly home. There's our train. We have Lumen Field just down there. And T-Mobile Park for the Mariners there. Seahawks and Sounders Lumen Mariners and Mobile. So we are now at the airport. One of our flights is there. Okay. But uh, just got off the tram, and our stuff scanned, went to the TSA. And we're now going to the gates, and we're gonna wait for our flight. Yeah. You can bring your pet to the airport. <laughs> there you go. They have a fire hydrant. <laughs> they have a little plastic fire hydrant. I can still kind of stretch up and look like diagonal. Alrighty, so we just got our boarding passes scanned and we are on our way to the plane. I can smell the dry desert air from Vegas already. I'm ready to go home. Cigarette smoke and all the other crap. 
Well, it's not it's cigarettes. Smog. It's not. A, it's not cigarettes. It's it's, it's, it's weird. Huh? Mm, it's smelling over here too. Yeah. But, uh, now almost all. Alrighty, we are back in Vegas. We're at the Harry Reid International Airport. Yes. It is good to be back on home soil. But man, I'm ready for it. Is it sad? It's 7 o'clock and I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. We're both tired. Saturday night in Vegas. I know. Saturday night in like the busiest city. Yeah, no thanks. I'm tired. It's alright, we're gonna go get some dinner and then we'll go home. Let the dogs attack us and sleep on the couch. <laughs> probably we're Let probably the gonna crap sleep out on of us for a few hours and then probably go to bed. Yeah. We're probably gonna fall asleep on the couch, but that is fine. But uh it was wasn't a relatively long flight. To roughly around like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. It was supposed to be like two and a half hours, but it's definitely definitely wasn't. No. But uh, a typical flight, you're very cramped inside, so it is what it is. But we're back home. We're gonna go eat at Sicky's Garage, I believe. And then we'll head home.